By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe the halting problem, and you will understand the significance of the halting problem for computation. The halting problem asks the following question. Is it possible, in general, to write a computer program that can tell, given the description of another program and its inputs, and without actually executing this program, whether the given program, with its given inputs, will halt or not? So, is it possible? Can we, theoretically, write a procedure called halting problem decider? And it should accept as inputs a description of some arbitrary program, P, and the inputs, X. And it should determine, without executing the inputted program, P, whether it will halt on the given inputs. Well, there's very little point trying to solve this problem, because the answer is no. And it was Alan Turing who, in 1936, proved that a machine for solving the halting problem could not exist. The halting problem dispelled the belief held up until this point that the only limits on algorithms were existing hardware. In essence, what you need to understand for the exam is that the halting problem shows is there exists some problems which simply cannot and will never be able to be solved by computers.